Hi guys, Creative Lori here. Welcome everyone. This is day 11 of the 12 days of Christmas. I think I'm finally getting caught up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would have been on earlier, but I had to take care of some invoices, packages, and I talked to my dear friend Blandine who has COVID. I'm so sorry, Blandine, and my prayers go out to her. And also, if anyone else can pray, please do. She's a wonderful person, and I just, you know, she definitely deserves the prayers that go towards her, believe me. So, God bless her, um, and I, I pray for her speedy recovery. Um, while we were on the phone, I said, yeah, I think I'm going to make myself a homemade pizza. So, that's what I'm going to do. I might show you a couple other things in a bit. For now, it will be the pizza. <laughs> so I never um, put out the videos yet, but I will, of my no spend month. And before I did that, I had bought some supplies and they really came in handy. That's why it's important to have like a pantry. But I bought some crescent rolls and they were 33 cents each. So like three for a dollar. So I think I bought six, and um, I've already made an, an other pizza. I've maybe I bought more than that. No, yeah, I bought only six because I made two pizzas now, and some awesome little morning crescents filled with awesome jam. <laughs> so let me just show you what I did. So that cost 33 cents. I used two of them on here. I just kind of spread it onto my sheet. I did put a little bit of wax paper. I sprayed underneath and on the wax paper just in case. And I just used the Dollar Tree. I like this one, the butter flavored. I know it's not healthy, but I used it and it'll help it. Then, then the base, okay, the sauce. So I like to get this brand, tomato paste. I bought this during COVID and it was probably, oh gosh, I think they were like 33 cents also. But the great thing about potato paste is, to, potato, tomato paste is I use like a third of it and I mixed it into a bowl looks kind of ugly but um you put hot water in it and you put all your spices so as you can see like I have a lot more sauce so if I want it for dipping or for pasta I can um I added some Dollar Tree garlic not my favorite but you know I would prefer fresh garlic but I had this already in the fridge so I'm using it um also with the sauce I don't add any oil because I feel like it just doesn't need it. Um, then I added the Dollar Tree Sun Dried Tomato halves. I did two of them. I chopped them up. That will be a topping. I'm sorry. So in the sauce, I added the garlic. I added some minced onion, which was free. It's a long story on that one, but <laughs> I got some basil from the Dollar Tree added that. I also put in some onion powder, garlic powder, dried parsley, and I felt like this was, it's like from the ethnic section and the Mexican food section. I thought this was, um, uh, what's it called? Oregano? I'm not sure. It smells like oregano. I could be wrong. Either way, it doesn't matter. I like the way it smells, so it went into my pizza sauce. So I only did that portion a little over half. Now I'm going to put the other part with pesto. And I have two brands from the Dollar Tree. I think they're both good. Both of them. This Berea is a um, name brand. And then the Multibano is another brand. I loved them both. So I need to bulk up on those. Anyways, I'm going to put the pesto on this side and let me just build it that way. I'm going to add the toppings of thinly sliced red 
um, onions. They're thin and thicker in this. Chopped up, I did two sundry tomato halves, and I put them in my fridge after I open them. And then one of my cute little bell peppers from my yard that's still <laughs> hanging on, we'll use that. And then of course, mozzarella. So let me put the pesto and assemble the rest. Okay, so now you can see I put two spoonfuls of the um, pesto, which is so good. I mean, I can't make it this cheap. It's got, you know, olive oil, basil, um, what else? Pine nuts, and what else does it say? I think garlic. Oh, and this one has Italian cheese. Anyways, ooh, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> so now all I need to do is put a light dusting of the mozzarella cheese that I have. Um, this was a two pound bag for I think $5.99, maybe $6.99. Mm, probably very competitive with um, a lot of the stores out there and maybe even Walmart. But I went to grocery outlet, so I'm going to do a light dusting. Then I'm going to go over with the vegetables and I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, I put a light dusting of the mozzarella cheese. And look at, there's Gary. He, <laughs> I just gave him some mozzarella cheese because he <laughs> waits for me to drop anything. He'll eat anything. Um, and those are sp paint splatters on my linoleum, or vinyl, excuse me. Anyways, um... Ah, look at how beautiful that looks. Okay, so I chopped up my little um, red bell pepper from my garden, and I still have a seed on my hand. I'm saving the seeds. I'll dry them out. I, I put them in my windowsill and dry them out. Um, I mean, I can eat the membrane. That's no biggie, but the seeds I'll keep. And, like, this is just membrane. It has a couple seeds on it. I'm just going to eat it. It's still good for you. So... I'll dry those. These were non-GMO red bell pepper plants, so that's why I want to save the seeds. Got the two uh, sun-dried tomatoes cut, uh, cut up. So I'm just going to start putting, I think I'll put the bell pepper on first. So, yeah, just like this, just sprinkle them on. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just you who's eating it. So, I mean, don't feel like it has to win the prettiest pie <laughs> in America. <laughs> okay. I do like to spread it everything out, like, evenly. All right. So, I ended up using one more half of the sun -dried tomato. I like it to be really tangy, especially if I'm doing it this way. So, I put a light dusting of the cheese on top of the sauce, then the toppings, and then I'm gonna put cheese on top of that. Now listen, if I had Kalamata olives or capers, those puppies would be going on here, but I don't. So, oh, I see a little cluster here. Let's spread it evenly. So, because I don't, I wanted the tang from the olives or capers on my pizza, so that's why I put another half of sun-dried tomato. So now I'm gonna put more cheese on top and we're gonna pop in the oven. Okay, yummy. So I probably use about a cup of cheese in total. And I, this cheese is um, older. I bought it last month, early last month. So I didn't, I want it, you know, to use it up because um, it's in my refrigerator, not my freezer. So I put a generous amount, I feel like, and um, I don't eat meat, so this is like part of the protein. And because I haven't eaten yet, I'm drinking, I only had brunch, I'm drinking my green decaffeinated green tea with coconut tea. I put both of them in there. There's something on my mug. And... Um, that's so good. So I'm going to enjoy it with some fruit and nuts while this is baking because I haven't had anything. I'm really hungry. Let me put this, um, it called for 375 for the crust, the crescents. 
So I'm gonna put it on 375 for, we're gonna test it at 15 minutes and we'll check it then. All right, so that went into the oven for 15 minutes on a timer and we'll see where it goes from there. Um, like I said, I have my green tea that's decaffeinated with uh, mixed with um, my coconut tea, um, which is awesome. But I'm trying to stay away from coconut and palm. It's just a bad industry, but I had a ton of it, so I'm still using it. And I'm going to um, pour into here just a few, you know, like a little handful of nuts. And I'm doing this one-handed. <laughs> So I think in this mixture, oops, that's kind of a lot. Um, it was mainly raw. I don't need that big cluster. Okay, mainly raw. Um, I, I thought these were roasted peanuts, but they're raw. So every, every nut is raw and the seeds are too. And then we just have some dried fruit. So I can't tell you how yummy it is with tea. I only eat two meals a day, and so it's just a nice little boost in between meals, even though I'm gonna be eating soon. But I know that I'm gonna to have to wait until it cools down and cooks, so I just really wanted something. So I'm just gonna grab a few nuts and have it with my tea. It's so satisfying, even though my tea is not hot anymore, <laughs> because, <clears throat> I made it before I even started the video, but <clears throat> this is so good. So the pizza in total, let me think, 33 tomato paste, pesto, um, let's see, 66 for two cans plus, um, I would say... 76 oh let's see a dollar ten dollar twenty a dollar we'll just say a dollar forty in total for the pizza that's the crust the sauce um I'd say $1.50 in total with the cheese and everything. I mean, I'm being over gen generous with all the other items and I'm just going to add on another 10 cents because I was already in my head thinking of the cheese. I mean, that's adding the on fresh onion, the sun-dried tomato, my, well, my bell pepper is free, be well, for the most part. It keeps on giving those bell pepper plants. <laughs> um, and then that's taking into account the paste and the pesto that I use, the cheese. And that's all that's on there. So about $1.50 for that huge pizza. And that I will probably be eating for at least four to five days maybe a slice to two slices because I like to I don't like to have big slices I like thinner ones and I actually like to have pizza for breakfast because it's like a carb you get the protein so anyways that's just what I'm going to be doing eating mm. by the way raw nuts are better for you and raw seeds so I'm having my tea time with you right now. But I would like to show you while the pizza is still cooking. One Dollar Tree. Um, thing, stocking stuffer gift that I want to do. Everyone does these, but mine's a little bit different. So I wanted to show you that. So I think I'm going to get it ready. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm making my nephew, yes, a hot chocolate um, 
bulb. I already washed this. You need to wash them before. People who don't wash them, I don't know if they realize, like, yeah, you just should wash them. Now, I have hard water, so there might be some, yeah, like, see little cloudy designs on the inside because I have hard water here. I got rid of my filter a while ago, but I would like to have another filter. Anyways, my sister gave me this Swiss Miss milk chocolate. I don't drink instant um, hot chocolate like this. I drink the Mexican hot chocolate. That's instant. So, and essentially, I'm just giving it back to them. But I'm going to take two packages. The difference is I'm using these wonderful... Christmas uh, marshmallows, marshmallows is how you're supposed to say it. And the stirring spoon, I'm gonna put two stirring spoons. I'm gonna do one of the chocolate flavored and then one of the peppermint from the 99 cent store. Everything else is from the Dollar Tree, including the bulb. So you could do this in a heartbeat. If you don't have the peppermint spoons, put maybe two spoons, because I kind of think it would be fun for him to have two servings and he'll have to like dig it out. <laughs> then he can wash it and reuse the bulb or his mom next year. All right, so I ended up using four packages. It doesn't even seem like very much, but I'll add enough um, marshmallows. Marshmallows. And honestly, I feel like the, these are very good by the way. I feel like the sugar canes are the only ones that are going to fit properly in there. So we're going to put quite a few of those in there. Oh, I don't think that one's going to fit. It would be hard to get it out. <laughs> He's cute though. Oh, that's another one. Let's see. Oh, I have all snowmen almost left over. Where are my candy canes? Oh, here we go. I feel like two per serving is good. So I'm gonna put two for eight. So there's four, five, uh-oh. Six. I think that might be it. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Okay, I'm going to rob what was in my own jar and replace some with these. I'll be right back. Okay, look how cute it looks. It's adorable. All right, so in the meantime, my pizza was ready. And I'm going to add, um, because it's four servings, I'll add two of each, maybe just three Three total, so I'll do two of the chocolate and one of the peppermint, and we'll see how that looks. Not that I'll be using them, but I'm just thinking like quantity-wise. We'll see. Okay, here it is. It's so cute. So I added one more marshmallow, and I think there's now two, four, six, eight, nine in there of the candy canes. I think it looks cute. And I put on... Uh, Dollar Tree had these tags that were like burlap chalkboard and so I just cleaned it off. I'm waiting for it to dry even though that chalk is still kind of on there. I'll write the recipe. If it doesn't turn out I'll just put a piece of paper over this or take the chalkboard part off and glue the paper onto here on how to prepare it. It's pretty easy. It's Swiss Miss, so I'll just say that. But <clears throat> the spoons would not fit in there. I was so heartbroken, but that's okay. I put them in a Dollar Tree gift bag. Um, there's 40 of them. You can get them in the party section. And I just poked a hole on, you know, I taped it down and then I poked a hole on each side and put a Dollar Tree pipe cleaner. And so I'm just going to attach it. Let me do that and I'll show you. Oops. All right, so all in all, you guys, I think it turned out so cute. So it's four servings of hot cocoa with the marshmallows 
and the chocolate covered spoons. Now, these ones were from the 99 cent store, but people have seen the peppermint spoons at Dollar Tree. Um, I got these at the 99 cent store and then the tags also. But if I just lift it up, I hope it doesn't fall apart. I just put the pipe cleaner, curled it around my finger a little bit to make it look cute. This is one of his stocking stuffers because I always get him um, a stocking stuffer. All right, so the actual bulb itself is pretty heavy. You don't want to like lift it by this because the prongs will come out most likely because it's got all those spoons on the side. So you might want to like maybe separate them. I don't want to put a bunch of decor on top. It's for my nephew. He doesn't like, like that kind of thing. But as long as I put the spoons on the side, which are really good by the way, um, and then the marshmallows and just a little bit of the tinseled um, pipe cleaner, it's fine. This probably all in all cost me under $2. And it's so cute. With all the marshmallows. All. I, and it's got a nice theme to it because it's got the candy cane um, marshmallows. And then with this on the side. You can wrap these separately and then maybe put it underneath or something. But... This way, you know, he kind of gets the point, and I'll put the instructions on this. I'll probably take the cardboard off and, and print out some paper ones, but I think these are cute. Oh my gosh, for two dollars, less than two dollars, and you get four servings. These, by the way, I will say this okay, first of all, these were good. The chocolate, I'm not really into sweets. Um, these peppermint ones, well, they're from the dollar or 99 cent store. They're excellent. Excellent. They're hard. They're not like what I heard from the Dollar Tree ones, soft, like peppermint. Doesn't matter. They're still so good. So I think he'll appreciate it and think it's fun. You know, he's a, a tween. He'll be 13. Um, this the day after Christmas. So, you know, he's still a kid at heart. So he'll still like fun things like this. And he knows his auntie will make him fun, creative things. Because he's very creative too. Um, anyways, so there's that. Plus, what I had to put those spoons in were, like I said, from the party section. And I already had them. So it's done. It's all done. Cute little... Thing. And I want to mention another thing. I'm not really one for sweets, but they prop they made these properly. Um, if you do, if you look up the process of making marshmallows, these are proper marshmallows. Marshmallows, sorry. And they have that powderiness. Uh oh. Okay, that's going to the dog. Powderiness on the outside. And they have like a cherry flavor to them, which is really good. I've eaten two already. And I don't even like sweets. But these are proper. Mmm. Oh, these are so good, you guys. So try to get these ones. They're called Sweet Christmas Marshmallows. And they are honestly excellent. So for my nephew, I know he'll like it. I might put some ribbon around here. I might even hot glue this to the plastic part. So if he lifts it up, it doesn't like break apart. Because I know he probably will. But it's really cute, actually, if you look at it. <laughs> it's so cute. And it's a fun gift. And he loves hot cocoa. I don't drink it anymore, really, except for the Mexican hot cocoa. So I might put a little, little ribbon. Let me do that really quick. All right, here it is. I got some Dollar Tree little gingham 
ribbon, tied it in a bow, and pulled out that. It's just so cute. I know he's gonna like it, and it makes it a little bit stronger, but you can also hot glue the base to the plastic, because it'll come right off after you're done with it, or trying to open it. So super cute, under $2. I'm pretty happy with it. Wait, hold on. Let me recalculate that. Uh, let's see. Okay, just under $3. Super cute. I know he'll like it. He likes my little creative side, so I'm happy. It's so cute. He'll love it. These marshmallows are delicious, really. If you make homemade ones, you know what I'm talking about. These are super good, and they're from the Dollar Tree. All right, let's check on the pizza. All right, here it is. It's been setting for a few, quite a few minutes. But here is the pesto side. Here's the red sauce side. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and I'll give you a taste test. All right, here's my slice. <laughs> kind of holding it weird, but I got a little pesto and red on this side, so it's like a half and half. Let me take a test, taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. That's very good. Wow. So, all the basil from the pesto and that I put in the sauce gives it that really nice, like, anisette taste. So good. Yeah. I really like this. Let me take another bite. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm okay, this is a really long video, but I just want to show you. You guys can make a really nice stay-at-home pizza yourselves. Mmm. The crust is very doughy, which I like also. But you can make this at home. It won't cost you very much. And especially if you have kids, you want to make it fun on Friday or Saturday night, this is the way to go. And it has a bunch of veggies. You can add meat, of course. All right, guys, I'm going to enjoy this with the remaining part of my tea. I hope you liked this. And then please comment down below what the toppings you would put or what you would do different in the ornament that I did because I'm open to that as well. All right, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.